An incestuous society, where incest is actually the norm, is conceivable even today. Consider these two scenarios. One, the lot scenario. A plague or some other natural disaster decimates decimate the population of planet Earth. People remain alive only in isolated clusters, cohabiting only with their closest kin. Surely incestuous procreation is preferable to a virtual extinction of a species. And incest becomes normative. Incest is as entrenched a taboo as cannibalism, yet it is better to eat the flesh of your dead football teammates than perish high up on the Andes, a harrowing tale of survival recounted in the book and eponymous film Alive. As cannibalism can become the norm, or permissible, so does incest. The second scenario is the Egyptian scenario. Resources become so scarce that family units scramble to keep them exclusively within the clan. Exogamy, marrying outside the clan, amounts to a unilateral transfer of scarce resources to outsiders and strangers. Incest becomes an economic imperative. An incestuous society would be either utopian or dystopian, depending on the reader's point of view. But that it is possible is doubtless.